Hey farm hands, Farm Boy Reef here. Welcome to the lab. So on today's episode of the lab, we're going to do plumbing. What kind of material we're going to use to do all three tanks. So the material we're using today is a uh, rigid PVC. This stuff works really well. So we're going to need a bunch of fittings uh, to do all these tanks up. We're going to need glue and tools. So a few of the tools that I have today is I got uh, pipe cutters. These are great. It makes a really nice cut on the, the piping. I'm going to show you guys up close and personal how that's going to go. Um, you're going to need uh, your PVC glue. So the glue, I got the, the two compound, is the medium gray. So this one here has a primer in it as well. You need a primer when you're working with PVC because when it's manufactured, there's a, uh, a clear film on here. And if you want to have a, a perfect bond, you want to make sure and take uh, that film off. But with if you get the glue that has uh, both in it, the primer and the glue, you only do one step process. So you skip the process and you can uh, speed things up a little bit. So you're gonna need your glue, you're gonna need your pipe cutters, you're gonna need, you need a hacksaw because I'm going inch and a quarter uh, overflow. So put the piping, so I need a little bit of a bigger saw to cut that as well. Um, I need a measuring tape and a pencil. So, so you can mark up in the right sizes we're gonna need. So I'm gonna bring you guys up close and personal. We're gonna, we're gonna cut a little bit of pipe together. We're gonna do a little bit of gluing just to show you the technique. And then we're going to get down here below, underneath the tanks and the sump, and we're going to cut everything up, make everything fit perfectly, because we're going to make all these tanks the same. So come on in, guys. We're going to we're going to do some pipe fittings here. All right, guys. So you guys can see I got this set up here. What we got? We got a bunch of different fittings. So we got a piece of half inch. So I'm going to show you how you, how to glue some half inch pipe. So here's our pipe, and then when I was the same before, when it's manufactured, it has a film on it. So with this glue, what you're gonna do is you put the glue on, it's gonna do the process of taking the primer off as well. So when you add that primer, it cleans up the pipe. So this is a piece of half inch, and here's the glue. And then these are the pipe cutters. I'm gonna show you. So let's let's take a piece off just to show you. So you could just score it like this, and then it does a really nice cut. See that? Boom. So now it's perfectly cut for application. So I'll just put this to the side. It's always important to wear gloves, guys, because this is, you know, this is uh, poison as well. You don't want to harm your uh, your skin. So we got our piece of pipe, and we have this is a half inch coupling. So what I like to do is we have our primer and cement all in one. I like just to add a little bit on the inside, and I like to put a little glue. Just go around a couple times. Make sure you get it all really well. And then you're going to put your pipe into the coupling, push it right in, and just give it a twist so you want a complete seal. And then just take a piece of your rag that you got here. I like, some people like to keep the primer on the outside. You can get clear as well, but I like to clean it right away to do a nice, uh, nice process here. Keep everything nice and clean. So you can just leave a little bit around the edge if you want. So this glue has the primer in as well. It gives it that nice uh, complete seal. So you're, just, you're gonna want to let that set for a few hours to make sure it's got a complete bond. So that's what it does, guys. It does a perfect bonding like that. So that's a little bit of the plumbing here. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get down in below and uh, we'll start the plumbing on these rigs. All right, so I'm gonna start right where my overflow sock is. So if you measure inside your coupling, you know you're gonna need an inch of pipe on so both sides. So what I'm gonna need to do here, so I got my, uh, an inch and a quarter of piping here. Let's move it around. So I, I need to I need to take off uh, two inches of this. And we'll go a little bit more so we have a little bit of a gap. So let's go an inch and a quarter. So we have an inch and a quarter there. Make sure you put your your glue back on. So you just got your hacksaw. So I'm just going to cut inch and a in two and a half two and a quarter inches off. Clean that up. So what we're going to do is we'll dry fit everything first. Make sure it's all going to fit. So we're going to go like this and like this to fit that on. Whoop. So it's going to go in just like that. All right, guys. So I got all the pieces cut uh, for the overflow box piping return to the filter sock. So what I did is, so our one piece, so these are gonna be identical, three tanks, so I wanna write, make sure I write down all measurements. So this pipe is seven inches, so I need that one from the box, so I'm just gonna write seven inches, so I know for the next tanks we're good. So we're gonna need a seven inch piece of inch and a quarter. We're gonna need nine and a half, and a half. We're gonna need two and a half inches, and we're good to go. So I know now, just to keep these measurements right here, I can use those for the next tank builds after we get this one done. So these are the paper we're going to need. So let's glue this up. 
So we have our two 90s and we want to make sure everything's all squared up. So let's start adding the pieces together here. So we grab our glue and we grab our piece. So we're going to glue that up. So we're going to add our piece here. And then we're going to add it underneath here into our other spot. Always remember if you want to make it look really nice, keep all your writing to the back. So let's add this piece. Give it a couple twists to make sure we get a tight seal. And grab, grab our paper towel and clean it right up. Because we want it to make sure it looks good. Alright, so we got our one piece in. So now we're gonna, we're gonna add a 90, and then we're gonna add the other part. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all done. Alright guys, so I have the, the overflow piping all done right now. So I'm gonna bring you guys to Enclosed Personal, we'll check it out. And then we're gonna start uh, the return back from the pump into the main display. So there's our inch and a quarter uh, overflow. So if you guys can see, it's gonna go right down into uh, the filter sock. So when I when I built these sumps, I made sure to add that square, the little square there, the cutout uh, four inch, it'll take a four inch filter sock. So you guys can see. So now we're gonna start and do the, the return uh, pipe for the pump. All right guys, so let's start the half inch piping uh, for the pump to the return to the main display. So same thing, I gotta put this into the bulkhead. So what we gotta do, make sure it's all cleaned up. There's no uh, stickers on the inside here that's gonna go into the piping. So we're gonna grab our glue. We're gonna do the same thing, add a little bit on the outside. Like this, make sure it's cleaned up. And the same thing, we're added to our piping on the inside. So we'll add that up. And grab our grab our rags, clean it up. And then we'll just have to take some measurements to make sure everything's gonna fit perfectly. Again, so we grab our measuring tape, see what we're gonna need. So everything should be almost pretty similar. So we should just need another seven inch piece. See some of this half inch, so we're gonna measure out, we're gonna need to cut off seven inches. So just mark it up. So we're going to grab our cutters here and we're just going to cut off seven inches of what we need. Score it. So we're good to go. So all we have to do now is we're going to glue that up. But the best thing to do right now is we're going to dry fit it, make sure everything fits first and then glue it up so we don't make any mistakes. And always remember, keep your, like, your nasty writing, keep it to the back so it has that nice clean look to it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get this uh, all cut up and get a place got good. everything all glued up. So I got the bell valve all mounted in. So if you if you want to make sure everything's square and 90, what you do is you glue it together. And then if you have it on a nice flat surface, you just push down on it. And that'll make everything just a form to where it needs to be while the glue is still still wet. So let's, uh, let's glue the other end of this and we're going to get this right in the sump. So let's glue this up. So we're just going to put a nice dab on here. And then I'm going to just add a little bit from the inside. Same thing. So let's get this right into place. Place it where we want so our pump will be there. Grab our rag, grab a new one, clean it right up. So now everything's there. We got our union foot fitting for our pump. We have our ball valve in case we want to adjust the flow. And we don't need no check valve because everything's designed properly. We're not going to have a problem with if the power goes out, the water's not going to flow all over the floor. And we don't have to worry about it getting plugged up or having any snails or anything get in it. So there we go, guys. So we got, we got our return and then we got our overflow. We're going to go through the sock. We're going to go through our sump to our return pump back up into the main display. So I'll bring you guys up a little closer personally. You guys can check this out. What I did is I made sure I wrote down every measurement I needed to make the other tanks look identical. There's our inch and a quarter overflow going into our filter sock, as you guys can see. And then we're going to come back across. So we have our union fitting that's going to hook to our pump. And then we have our ball valve if we want to adjust for flow. And then it goes right back into the display tank. So you guys can see. So these are going to be totally identical. Identical. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you guys uh, like this episode, a little bit of plumbing. All right, so hopefully you guys tune in uh, same time, same place, and uh, we'll do some aquascaping together. All right, have yourself a great night, guys. Bye. <music>